Recently, I had the opportunity to help one of my friends organize her art studio. She makes paper flowers that look incredibly real. And she invited me down to her studio because she needed some, some tidying and some organizing. Up until this point, I've just been organizing my own home. So I was in full control of the budget and all the decision making. But because this is her studio, I was there mostly for guidance, which presented its own challenge. You know, in all these years you guys have been living here, I've never been down here. Yeah, well, this is my sanctuary. Welcome. <laughs> I'm Jesse Chu and I'm an artist uh, based out of the Toronto area. I make floral sculptures out of paper and other mixed mediums and I take photos of them, so I'm also a photographer. As an artist and entrepreneur, I'm often on Zoom calls with other artists and people I'm collaborating with and I'm really self-conscious about my backdrop. My um, computer monitor faces me and also faces um, this wall unit that I have where I place a lot of my artwork and paper and it's just really really messy. It's very nice. Thank like the you. lighting that you get here is beautiful. Yeah no it's fantastic um, especially during the mornings it's the ideal place for me to make my flowers. So what do you want to do exactly? Because to me, it looks like an art studio. And if it was mine, I would want it to be just like this. So there's really two things. One is this PAX wardrobe. It holds a lot of my materials and my tools. Um, but I mean, it's made out of metal. It's made out of glass. It's not really, it's not really my jam. OK. But since we're on a budget, I'm hoping we can just paint it over. OK, doable. Anything else? Yeah, um, the other place is my Ikea, another wonderful Ikea piece. So I'm hoping to swap this out, um, change it up. I still want it to be functional. Yep. But I, I just want kind of a blank canvas behind me that's pretty aesthetically. Um, and then when I open it up inside, it's also functional. Okay, that sounds very doable. We could probably get 90% of that done today. Hopefully. So this is where Ray comes in. Um, Ray has all this knowledge about how to organize things and how to make your home look good for sale. And so I'm hoping he can step in and help me organize my backdrop. Okay, Jesse. First thing we got to do is empty that shelf and start sorting. Throw away anything that you think you won't use in the next year. Okay. And let's try to finish that in the next 20 minutes. Yeah, sounds good. The paper looks good. Mm -hmm. Do you need all these scraps? I do. Li you really do? No, that those are for like specific projects. So this one is my zinnias that I'm I'm going to be teaching. Okay. And uh, I go back to this when I have to. And this is for another story. project. Yeah, this one is. Um... You're not sure. About halfway through that morning, I could tell this was not going to be an easy task for Jessie. She was very resistant to throwing away things. And that's, that's the first step, getting rid of all your junk so you have less to organize and less to clean. But this is her studio. If she needs it, then she needs it. The show must go on. It's pretty light. That's, that's just awkward. Finding the right spot to exactly. hold. Okay, not so bad. Pivot, pivot. Okay. Woo! So one thing that um, I'm really nervous about is how much we have to spend on this project. Um, I'm really on a budget and so we're hoping to maybe repurpose some of the furniture I already have, uh, maybe repaint off? it, um, right, just kind of work with what we have and yet make it functional for me and also um, look beautiful. Wow, that was hard work. Oh my God, Killian. No, no. Okay, uh, I think you're right. The brown should be painted over. Yeah, it's a little dark for my room, um, especially if what I want is, you know, more light. <laughs> it does cast a bit of a shadow. It's sucking out all the, the light from the room. Yeah, yeah. And um, so, and it also doesn't match like my, some of my white furniture, so. Can you show us the, the paint? 
Here, this is the Fusion Mineral Paint. I'm going to mix the colors because I want a specific color. And um, it's wonderful. It's water-based, non-toxic. I got this. I didn't stick around for the painting. That's that's Jesse's department and I know we're in good hands there. My job was to go out and start looking for the organizers that we're gonna need. What I didn't know at that point was that the budget was gonna go from $100, which is what she gave me when I left, to zero. She wanted to do all the organizing with only what was inside the home already. Jesse. Hey. The paint's dry? Yeah, I'm just finishing up, putting some final touches to it. Oh, it looks nice. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I love the coloring. It's subtle, it's brighter. Um, I think it's gonna work really great as a backdrop. Okay, let's start putting things back in. I'm excited. You want to start with the most obvious, which is the paper? Yeah, I think so, because it's also what I have the most of. Yeah. So putting it in first and then working around that, I think makes sense. Okay, you want it at the bottom so that it's not visible for your calls? Yeah, it's also less traffic. Let's do it. Does that make sense? Yeah. So there's more paper. Yes. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to reuse the inserts that I had for the IKEA Calyx and see if they'll fit in here. The thing is, ideally, I would like slip it in here, but I can't slip it in. Oh, you can't close the door? Yeah. So I guess they have to go in the center then? Yeah. Okay, let's put them in and see what they look like in the center. Um, they need to be supported, so I think. Oh, so we have to put the paper on the yeah, side. And the other side is a good way to kind of keep it tight. Okay, I guess we have no choice. Yeah. We can probably put them on top. Are yeah. these your books? Yes. Do yeah. you want to display them on top then? Yeah, I think so. So people can see it. Yeah. And you. You have this nice little leather pouch that could be like a bookend. You want it as a bookend? Yeah. Overall, I really like it. I mean, if it was my studio, I would have thrown out more things, but considering we spent literally nothing, the results are pretty good. If she wants to revisit this in a year, I'll, I'll push her harder to throw more things out. But have a look at the overall studio where the Pax closet is painted and that ring of flowers is now displayed on the, on the wall. It's one of the first things you see when you step into the studio.